Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. If you like financial education, if you like learning about commodities and undervalued sectors that could be potential investment opportunities, I would subscribe to the channel, join our community for this bull market ride higher. We can do it together. Uh, I'm gonna go over to lithium stocks. I'm not as well versed in lithium as I am in some of the other sectors, uh, but someone wanted me to look into it. So I got some companies here. Uh, well, I threw a presentation together just uh, about lithium and some of the stocks. Uh, some of these may be lithium mining stocks. Some of these may be uh, battery companies. Some may be even users of lithium. But this is what I threw together. I did some technical analysis as well on some of the lithium stocks. Again, I grabbed these stocks from articles. They're not ones that I hand selected. Uh, I'm charting ones that were like top 10 or 11 picks. Uh, from from an article so this is lithium stocks lithium uh, it's a key component to electric vehicle batteries that's why we're looking at it it has a deficit uh, in the future which means that uh, the demand is higher than the supply which usually manifests itself in uh, higher prices and we're looking at investment opportunities in this area that's why we're looking at it this is the price of lithium you can see that we've had a little downtrend here and it bottomed out and we're starting to head on up to the upside. So that's lithium is looking pretty good on a price basis. Uh, this I got this from Roskill's um, website. These are the uh, EV battery requirements in gigawatt hours and it's just going vertical massively. So very much higher demand. This is the lithium ion cathode material market share. Just for some extra information, higher nickel loading increases cell energy density, allowing more kilowatt hours per kilogram or a higher range. Where greater than 50% nickel loading precursor plus lithium carbonate equals some nickel carbonate equals decreased energy density. Hydroxides provide superior performance in high nickel cathodes. And I just wanted to kind of go over that Again, I'm not an expert in this field, so uh, I am just presenting this to show you guys some, some more information, some more investment opportunities. This is the lithium supply demand. This is where I look at. When you start seeing this thing go uh, a deficit like this, prices typically go vertical, especially with a deficit this large. Uh, the market balance, this is a very large deficit here. These are the price forecasts is of Obviously, they don't know this for sure. That's just forecasts that Roskill had. So let's look at some of the charts. One of one of the the companies that they recommended was Tesla. I'm not a huge fan of Tesla, but uh, we are breaking this upward trend line. You better hope this thing moves to the upside and re gets on top of this uh, up upward trend line. Otherwise, we are breaking the uptrend and about to head much lower. If, if, if it doesn't go back up. This is Albermill, I don't even know how to say that. Albarmil, Albamilli, Albamarl, Albamarl, something like that. We're in this upward channel here, slight compression, but we're still in the channel. When it breaks this upper channel, <laughs> you wouldn't want to be a, uh, this thing's gone if it breaks the upper channel, but it's been on a very good, uh, upward pace in this channel. So this could be a, a pretty good long-term investment, even if it doesn't break the upper channel. Here is Lithium Americas Corp. This thing looks fantastic. <laughs> We've got a decade-long pattern on a weekly basis. We broke to the upside, back-tested, came up, pulled back. I mean, this looks really good right here. Look at the volume on the on the lower right here. People are accumulating the living heck out of this thing. Uh, so... LAC looks really good to me. Really good. Here is SQM. I don't know how to say any of those words, but uh, it's 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 definitely uh, putting in a nice massive pattern here. Break. Watch for a break to the upside. If this breaks to the upside, this thing could 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 blow substantially. <laughs> uh, LTHM Livent Corp. This thing's looking excellent. Uh, this is a weekly basis. It's it, it hit its head here, came back inside the pattern, putting in a bullish engulfing on a weekly stick pattern. Here's another bullish engulfing. Uh, this thing looks fantastic to me. 
LTHM looks good. This one's a good opportunity. It hasn't really, I mean, it's gone up a lot, but it's still, it's, it's going to go. ENS, uh, Enersys, this is a battery company, I believe. Uh, you can see this pattern here. It's right there hugging the top of this, ready to break. So that, that looks pretty good too. Uh, Energizer Holdings for Energizer. What is this? A shoulder, head, shoulder. This looks like it wants to break to the upside as well. Looking pretty good. Johnson Controls already already did its lift off. I mean, look at this thing. It, this is a this is a shot. It's shot from 45 to 59 pretty quick. So that's looking good. Quantum Scape Corporation, it likes to pull up, go sideways, pull up. It's going sideways in its pullback. Breaks this downtrend line, it's gone. So that's looking pretty good. FMC Corporation, it is really coiling up here. This is a spring that's coiling up. When we see a break to the upside, this thing, I mean, hopefully it doesn't break to the downside. Usually when you have this thing slanted upward a little bit like this, they like to break to the downside. But given where the market is at, this thing could break to the upside and, and absolutely explode higher. Here's PLL, Piedmont Lithium Limited. Looks like if you had drawn a, a chart trend here, a little break here, consolidated up right here to this point, nice big bullish engulfing and just launched. <laughs> this thing looks pretty pretty awesome if it was down here. I, I don't know if I'd chase it up here, but here is OROCF. Or a Cobra right at the top here. That looks pretty good to launch. Doesn't look bad at all. So these lithium ones, they actually look really good. Uh, I think the chart patterns, they, they look fantastic. That's 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 quite surprising as uh, they're still kind of low, a lot of them too, some of them. So I personally, I would buy some of these. I'd, I'd, I'd be getting kind of, kind of bullish here. Um, I'm getting bullish. I mean, uranium's looking great. Lithium's looking great. These diversified miners looking great. This is the this is the problem is they all look great at the same time. So you got to be you got to be picky and choosy on what you want to what, what you want to go into. Um, but these all these these all are exhibiting traits for a good long term hold. Uh, these decade long patterns that are broken to the upside or about to break, uh, I I I just be holding on um, or or purchasing some of these um, that are kind of right about to break. In their patterns so th these all look good so if you guys own lithium i mean good 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 work good job uh it, it's the better times are, are in front of us that's that's what i think we're going to see some big moves if you guys like this content give me a thumbs up let me know what you think leave it in the comment section if you guys have any opinions or or anything like that or any questions and thank you for listening this is finding value